just what you need If you ask then You shall receive only on pretty please Alright Todd, this is SBG Kim Moore You are now tuned in to Pretty Please Welcome to season two of Pretty Please, where the tea is ruined and we are serving it straight. I'm your host, the one and only Zara Love. I'm your host, Diana S. And I'm Terry Renee. And what do we have today, y'all? Me. What's your name? Tell people what you have to do. SBG Kimo. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, I mean, we're hearing about you being up and coming. Well, we kind of know you're already famous, but you have to do something like that. So how did you first start off like rapping and like what inspired you to rap in the first place? So since I was a little kid, right, I always like, okay, we're back, we back up. So when I was younger, my family was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know no rap music, no matter that, as a child. Nothing? Nope. Okay. So being like around that, in that atmosphere, like my family embraced a whole of music, it made me <clears throat> have a love for music itself and not just for a certain type of music or, you know what I'm saying? So music is a very big part of my life and it always has been. So when I was younger, I could sing. I, I can't, I can still sing, I can sing very well. Okay. But anyways, once I found out that I knew how to sing and once I learned, excuse me, I just left the cab. Once I learned how to maneuver my voice and play my voice, then it became easy for me to make music. And once I started making music, and, Realizing that it was good music, okay. I embraced it more, and then I just got less serious and more serious. Okay. So my question is, I know everybody want to know because I'm not from Chicago, and I don't know what a heavy stepper is. So what does a heavy stepper mean, and what made you come up with the song yeah. Heavy Steppers? Because I've been listening to that, that right. song like every day. Yeah. I've been thinking, would mean like big shoe? Like what it mean? Because I've been seeing a Balenciaga. I've so seen a Balenciaga. So is that a heavy stepper and a big old Balenciaga? Yeah. What is that? What's heavy stepper? I'm dead. No. 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 <laughs> A stepper is a person that comes strong with it, like whatever they do to like. Okay. For instance, y'all be looking nice all the time, y'all steppers, you feel me? I like to look nice all the time, as you can see. Period. <laughs> um, not about to play <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, show the okay. shoes, get the Gucci. No, we boycott them right now. Okay, we okay. boycott them, yeah. Yeah, but I'm a stepper, you feel me? Like, I rap where y'all like, I feel like I'm one of the best in my city. I'm a stepper, like. You feel me? Niggas be shooting at other niggas. They stubble. You get it? So they're the best to ever do it. Kind of like that. Like okay. you're a stubble. Okay. You come. You come correct, basically. You come okay. correct. Come correct. So what you when you put heavy on that just place an emphasis on stubble. I mean, when we made the song, we didn't have a name for it. Okay. Oh, so, okay. And I was just there. Like we was in the studio, just playing with the music. I'm like, shit. Stepping in no club without my crew. Like this song, we did. Song about heavy stuff. I ain't gonna call it steppers. It's a song called Steppers out there. Right. Mm -hmm. I did not. That's not us. A lot of people walk up to me talking about you be with them step or something. They make this. Oh, song. we heard you be with the step or something. Yeah, shut up, Nemo, man. That's your hot, but yeah, I, that's not that's not me. Okay, this is Nemo. That's your hot to fuck with that song, but that's not me though. Um, <coughs> and um, yeah, so have stuff with us, but I said I can. Okay. But I got another question. So I know you told me when well, I seen on Twitter too that you got a four point oh. You on Dean's list. You, you said you got a four point oh. Just period. That's your okay. GPA, right? Uh, my QHL GPA is 3.7. Okay, close enough. On the bottom of the scale, though. Right. So right. I build close. Okay, you a business major. So how did you juggle rapping? Double business major. Double business oh, major. Close. So he got he's a double major. Yeah. And you're a rapper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Clearly, you're in the books. Okay. Right. Your head, all right. How do you juggle all of that while still, you know, doing music? Doing music. Like, how do you do all of that and juggle everything? Um. Honestly, it's like it's about you know. Managing your time okay. and your energy. So, like, I try to be proactive with the things that I do. Even when I'm chilling, I try to be doing something that'll help me so I don't have to do it later. Okay. So, like, okay. like things like, like when people be on their phone all day, mm -hmm. I don't just be on my phone scrolling. I'll be on my phone promoting my music. Okay. So, like, I don't have any other time, which is why I be so busy. Like, people to be moving around. I'm doing something. I'm not just not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm purposely not doing anything because I've been doing so much. You get it? Right. So, like, School's always been easy and music has always been easy and I love both of them things so it's not hard to juggle those but I mean like heavy is the head that wears the crown. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. I was listening to your YouTube video and I seen everybody come on. Exactly. I was like, looking at how many views you got in your video. I could have sworn it was like it's about is it like eight eight hundred thousand? Eight hundred and ten thousand. Eight hundred and ten thousand now. Do you feel like you've gained more female attention or you've been that good? What's the real tea? Let right. it go. Okay. Wait, you have a girlfriend? 
Or, or, or Lil Boo. Because you said you don't want to think so. Right. He wasn't at your own. He wasn't at your own. I have a situation. Okay. Ooh. I have a situation that nice. happily involved me. Yeah. Okay. Happily okay. involved. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is she from Chicago? Oh, okay. Chicago love story. Okay. <laughs> they answered it. Right. So do you feel like your music has attracted more of the female attention? Do you feel like they just clout chase them? Like, like what? A little bit of both. Like before, I, like I mean, it depends because I've been rapping for a long time. Mm -hmm. I have, like I've been buzzing for a long time. I just haven't been buzzing this hard. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Like, I've been. I always got attention from like fans, mm -hmm. but like now it's like <clears throat> it's more like like I mean, yeah, like they be on me though. I ain't gonna lie, like yeah, they be on me. Though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I, if you know me, like if you watch this and you know chemo, like you know the real chemo, like not SPG chemo, but like to me, who I am, mm -hmm. then. You would know that hoes uh, is not special to me. Like that having having a lot of like right. that's not mm -hmm. like that's never been important to me. Well it has, but it's not like me being a grown man and me growing up and becoming a man, it's like okay. mm -hmm. it's not really important, so I won't pay that man. Like I said, I'm happily involved. So when I'm happily involved with anybody, any other person becomes unattractive to me. Oh yeah. okay. so I have a little question for you. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Because Biden didn't even hire your degree. Your music is already booming right now. I know the other day you was talking about you want to start some of your own businesses. So where do you see yourself in five years? I see I'm 21, 26. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's okay. I see myself. I always want to live somewhere similar. I'm going to be rich as hell. Like, multi-million in my life. Like, like, exists, 50 right. million, a lot of millions in my account, you feel me? Okay. Like, like, I'm trying to be like the best out of my city. I want to be like, like I feel like Chance and Juice World and Kanye West like the three main, like the top yeah. artists from like ever. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I can surpass them, if I can somehow like become greater, like mm -hmm. then that's what I want to do. And uh, 26, I want to have three kids. Three kids? You want son and daughter? I want a son and daughter, son. Okay. I want five kids before I'm dead, but I want to go and like soon. Five kids, like that. Okay. okay. So you want your first one? He gotta be the son. He gotta be a boy. Yeah. I want. Well, I really I wanted to go son, son, and daughter, and son, and daughter, because I want my my want one of my sons to have a big brother that's close to him, but I want my daughters to have big brothers that can protect them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. When I five, but you know, I, like yeah. I, I want a son and daughter. I, I want a big family. Have my kids like this, but yeah. Like, <laughs> I can see him really doing that too with his kid. So as far as your business, because I know, like I said the other day, we spoke about you want to start a business. Like, where would you see that in five years if you hadn't already started? Right. When well, you say I'm, I'm gonna have my degree, I'm gonna have two degrees, so probably three degrees. So like, okay. um, I probably well, like I said, well, there's certain stuff that Google that's like that I got going on legally mm -hmm. that prohibit me from doing all the things Easy I want to do, mm -hmm. but. Somehow I want to be like I want to be the main owner of a dispensary, like okay. cultivation and agriculture. Like I want to be, like, cause that's a booming business. Um, me being able to watch that and predict that I I know that like I will have a strong business like market, and I could be able to you know what I'm saying maneuver that business well. Um, so yeah, own me some dispensaries. I want to <clears throat> like. You know how rappers get older, they want to buy their little bricks and drugs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, When I get my money, I'm going to go open car washes and like little motels and like mm -hmm. gas stations and corner stores. So things that's going to matter. That's exactly. all make more money. money. Okay. And if my homies don't want to get off the street to work them, die. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to give you no drugs so you can go get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Now you're missing my money, no, bye. I'm going to give you something legitimate. Right. Period. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I got one more little question for you to start game, okay? So, what do like what makes you special? What do you want people to remember about you? Like after, like say if you were to leave Earth tomorrow, God forbid, you know what I'm saying. But if you were, what would you want people to remember you by? Me being an individual. Like I don't conform to nothing. You can ask my mama. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna do what I feel if I feel like it's right. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, that was all of our questions. But you know, we gotta get into the game. You gotta get into the game with you. So before you know, we start recording. I said, I told you what we were doing. Oh, you gotta put the hat on. Okay. Right. You gotta get serious.
So, who do you know them from? Shy Town, Chicago, you know, like home, of, home of Harold's Chicken, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, or oh, what is it? Uncle Remus. Oh, I ain't heard of that one. I heard Uncle Remus, because I tasted it now, so I don't like it. It's nasty. I ain't had Remus. Welcome to what you were saying. <laughs> Situationships. This is before we even knew you was going to say that. Situationships, love, and thoughts. So because you're from Chicago, we're going to have you rap it on top of who run it and freestyle by the tempo. Okay, you ready? Situationships. And that only going to be like 30 seconds. All right. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Situationships, thoughts, and what? And love. And love. You got to make it all make sense. Hell no, nah. give me something different. What? <laughs> <laughs> my first word is gang. Okay, okay. okay. What's your word? Pop up. Pop up. Pop out. Yeah. Okay, pop out. Okay. And mine is. But mine, no, mine could be Valencia. Valencia. <laughs> you did. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. and mine would be Valencia. Step up. That's easy. Okay, yeah. so what's your word? Game. 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 I'm with the gang when I pop out. I pop that with my Glock out. And you know I, that I'm a stepper. I look good because all the thoughts out. In my city, they call us the steppers. I'm hotter than a pepper. And yeah, I got all this designer. I'm a dresser. Oh, okay. Look up in my dresser. You might see some cheddar. And I got a, uh, I was bad, I'm doing better. Yeah, I got a 4.0, that's my GPA. I'm hopping in and out these cars. I feel like GTA. Ooh. I just got a new top of that bitch. Might you see I'm spraying it, but nigga think it's sweet. I get chips like Frito Lay. I ain't trying to talk to nobody. I just, you feel me? Like, <laughs> 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 okay, that's on that. That's on the period. Yay. Yeah. 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 Period. You okay. said yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with us. Right. Now, that's really all we got. Thank you for playing our game and answering our questions. Make sure you shout out your blog, tell them where they can find you, where they can download right. some of your music, all what's up, all of that. I am from Chicago, Illinois. I am from out west, the Austin neighborhood. I hail from the, oh, the North Avenue portion of the Austin neighborhood, it's called Gatewood. But I am from, I guess you could say, uh, Capitol Hill, Madison and Central. Um, shout out to guys, shout out to Rich Um, Y'all can find me on everything at SVG Chemo on, on Instagram at SVG Chemo 18. Facebook, I'll be on that camera. You can find me on that SBG chemo. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. Y'all go get that motherfucker. Y'all go get that heavy stuff with the Yeah, because that's my favorite song. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, 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 hey. And Trenches back in the movie. And look, spazzing up part one to make sure everybody comes over that. Chemo to the SBG chemo, uh, college kids, SBG chemo, and Shano. That's all I'm going to work with. Y'all go get it. All right, you heard him say. So you heard what he said. So basically, y'all, uh, that's the end of this interview. Thank y'all for watching Pretty Please with Tia's Room. We're seven minutes straight. So we're going to see y'all next episode.